you know, when you're getting on, you realize that uh, the aches and pains are a bit more real than, you know, just shrugging it off, you know. It's, it's not a good situation to wake up in. For about three months over winter, this car was where Dean slept. He'd become homeless after getting into debt. I'd um, sort this seat out, really, push it back. Uh, it, it's not too bad, you know. You do get a lower backache, the quilt over you. But if anything, it's, it's probably early hours of the morning, you know, because the windows aren't really insulated. Uh, they let a, let a lot of cold in. If anything, this has kind of uh, answered a few questions for me, is that um, I couldn't imagine it those months in a tent. I'm so glad I had something over my head, but um, no. No, I don't want to. I don't want to go down this far again. Three others around the inside. This is my room, room four. Now this property is Dean's new home. He's got his own room in a house shared with four other recently homeless people. Uh, it means everything, you know. Obviously, the work front's not good, but um, to have a roof over your head and be able to take a shower every day and just feel fresh, it gives you a much better uh, perspective. The owners of this property decided to work with the charity Help the Homeless Leicester, a move which the charity says is unusual in the private sector. It's been hectic, but it's been really fun. Um, it's been really good getting to know everyone that lives here as well. They've all got a different story. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's really great to know that where everyone's come from, all the different backgrounds have come from. The thing here is the fact that we've got five people off the streets and into a property in one go is pretty uh, epic and monumental, really, when you think about how hard it is just to get landlords to agree to take people that are on benefits. And they are successfully, well, living here now. So, um, yeah, we feel that it's, it's a really big thing to get five people off the streets in one go. Another new tenant is Fidel. He's been sleeping rough for three years. Initially I thought I was never going to come off the street um, because it's been so long. Um, so when he eventually got me a place and I got in here, it was like it's still surreal for me right now. Um, but yeah, I've seen my name on the, um, the tenancy so I'm, I know I've got a place I'm secure. The group will continue to be supported by the charity and will hope to get back into employment including former professional drummer Dean, who dreams of a job in music production. Simon Ward, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.